on the way to get Kato, but no one seems to know where we're supposed to be getting him. This is so weird. So hi and welcome back to the channel. Um, for the first time, I'm actually showing my face. And this is so embarrassing. <laughs> so I'm Erica, the one who's been um, talking the whole time in the previous videos. And I am the poodle mom of Summer and Bailey. <laughs> this is really so weird. I I'm gonna try to get used to this. <laughs> it. I'll cut that. <laughs> So as you may have read in the title's description that we have placed, and you may have already guessed it, the video will be about our experience in flying a toy poodle from Manila all the way to Bangkok, Thailand. So last week, if you noticed, I wasn't a we weren't able to post a video because we were very busy in um, flying Kato from Manila to Bangkok. So we stayed there for, I think, four days. And um, it took some time to kind of get him used to his life there again and then to follow through the training that we did here so that he would be able to apply it there, most especially with his fur parents. So we did a lot of um, last minute training for him before actually flying him to Bangkok. Most especially, and I can't emphasize it enough, would be crate training. I have a series of videos um, that's separate because it was a really, really long process to do that. If you guys are interested, please do comment down below so that maybe we can prepare something about um, crate training your dog in preparation to flying them abroad. Most especially if you do not possess an ESA. ESA stands for Emotional Support Animal. It's basically a certificate from the doctor or your if I'm not mistaken, it's provided by your therapist, but feel free to research all about it. I just know that if you have it, you're allowed to fly your dog inside the cabin rather than flying them inside a crate in the cargo bay. But in this case, Kato did not have that. I did not have that. So I was forced to fly him in the cargo. But the problem was, he wasn't crate trained. But that worked out because he stayed with me for around, I think, three and a half weeks, if not four weeks. And it was not an easy feat, but we did it. So he got used to the crate and um, successfully flew to Thailand without any problems. As a matter of fact, he did not pee or poop inside his crate from stress. I, well, I'm not saying he wasn't stressed, but at least... I think it was because he was more used to it and I guess it's the prep that we did like I didn't feed him a full meal the night before his actual flight and I didn't feed him on that morning before the flight but I did give him treats just so that you know his stomach won't get too acidic okay so we hope you will enjoy the video that we have prepared or the compilation of the experience and if you like our video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, I won't hold it back any longer. We hope you'll enjoy um, what we have documented for all of you. All right, we'll see you guys later. because <laughs> I'm not ready but oh well it's gonna be fun the girls are gonna go crazy when I get home hi see you in a bit Kato <laughs> Oh, 
sorry. I'm tying them together so that this one will behave. So she will follow wherever he goes because he's heavier anyway. And he likes the water fountain. <laughs> You're gonna get groomed tomorrow, sweetie. Good girl, Summeru. So he's friends with Summer. So it's two days before our flight. Um, how, uh, we're taking Philippine Airlines. They told me to um, call two days before the actual flight to make a reservation for him um, as a check -in, an, a, an excess baggage check-in at the cargo bay. So with Philippine Airlines for international flights, as far as I know, at least for Bangkok. There is only one flight per day that allows um, live animals. So I'm gonna call now just to make sure that everything's okay. Yeah. So I wanna get an excess baggage um, allowance for the pet that I'm gonna be transporting to Bangkok. So today's the day. I just woke up and then um, got ready because I need to bike Kato later at 4. It's, it is exactly 3.41 a.m. I'm just packing up the last bit of stuff here. So there. These are all Kato's stuff. And that's the only side. I, I, I think just one fourth of this is still his. I'm gonna get ready to bike him for an hour just to get him super tired. So we're gonna be flying him. Okay? We'll take you along for the ride. See you later. So, are you ready for your flight? <laughs> I hope everything will be okay. Hmm? You're tired? No. Go drink water. Ha, buddy. Ha, buddy.
Hi, buddy. I'm sorry. that transports the animals, the right? Okay, I'll get one, I'll get one. 